Abide in Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Empowered by the Spirit, September 7th, Deborah and Barak. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinoam, on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel, when the people willingly offered themselves. Judges 5 verses 1 and 2 The Israelites, having again separated themselves from God by idolatry, were grievously oppressed by these enemies. The property and even the lives of the people were in constant danger. Hence the villages and lonely dwellings were deserted and the people congregated in the walled cities. The high roads were unoccupied, and the people went from place to place by unfrequented byways. At the places for drawing water, many were robbed and even murdered, and to add to their distress, the Israelites were unarmed. Among 40,000 men, not a sword or a spear could be found. For twenty years, the Israelites groaned under the yoke of the oppressor, then they turned from their idolatry, and with humiliation and repentance cried unto the Lord for deliverance. They did not cry in vain. There was dwelling in Israel a woman illustrious for her piety, and through her the Lord chose to deliver his people. Her name was Deborah. She was known as a prophetess, and in the absence of the usual magistrates, the people had sought to her for counsel and justice. The Lord communicated to Deborah his purpose to destroy the enemies of Israel, and bade her send for a man named Barak of the tribe of Naphtali, and make known to him the instructions which she had received. She accordingly sent for Barak, and directed him to assemble 10,000 men of the tribes of Naphtali and Zebulun and make war upon the armies of King Jabin. Deborah celebrated the triumph of Israel in a most sublime and impassioned song. She ascribed to God all the glory of their deliverance and bade the people praise him for his wonderful works. Empowered by the Spirit, September 7th.